we've got this John Deere 535 mowing co that we are usually mowing around a thousand acres a year with and this year we were mowing over the hill here and we caught a rock with it and usually once a year or so we shear one of these shear hubs but uh so what happened was we can see that all of these are pretty well every other one should be kind of lined up with every other one so that one this one and then right one right here the third one in from the right side is not lined up and you can see it's actually been hitting on the one next to it it hit on the other one next to it here too as well so we shut it down right away but it still uh, beat the ones up next to it a little bit so what we got to do is we got to pull this 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 turtle off so it's uh, uh four 18 millimeter uh, bolts right here that we go around and then we also take the one out of the middle here as well and that is a 24 millimeter so we got our impact here and we'll pop that stuff off here real quick I already had them loose, so that's why they're coming so easy. I wasn't going to make a video, but I figured this might be helpful for somebody. So obviously, things go easier if you're not connected to the tractor PTO, so you can just spin them over by hand. These do have Loctite on them, so they're going to come off a little bit harder than I have been showing you. but. The, uh, the DeWalt does break them all loose. So then the turtle will come right off. And that's what it looks like. And this is the actual shear hub right here, this piece right here. So we'll pop that, that one off in the middle. should be a little cap yep that comes off so that's good that just locks everything together but this is the actual shear hub and there's a couple teeth on it and they're designed to not have all the teeth on it that way it will shear but this one's kind of jumped over the teeth right now so I'm gonna have to get a hammer it's not gonna come sometimes they'll be they'll be so busted that they'll just spin freely in there uh, but this one did not, so I'm going to have to grab a hammer until I can get it lined up with the uh, teeth there so that it pops up. So we got our hammer here. We beat it so that it lined up. We're just going to see how what it looks like here. Usually it pops right up. So here's the shear hub. And you can see that the teeth are sheared off of it, kind of as we suspected. And you can see that those are the teeth right there. So better to shear the shear hub than shear off the gear and the pieces here. So we'll clean up all those pieces that are in there from the shear hub so that they don't get stuck down in the actual cutter bar or get stuck below this and spin around and tear the seals out. Get it all cleaned up good and we'll get the new one on. So here's the part number for the new one. I don't remember what they were. I think they're around 100 bucks, maybe. 80 to 100 bucks for the new shear hub. AE71036. I remember, right? They come with instructions even on how to do it in there, but. Yep, there's the instructions. Actually, I used to write manuals like that for deer when I worked for them. So there's the new, they give you a new bolt to go down through the middle of the shear hub. And that's what a good one looks like with all the teeth on it. And that's what a bad one looks like. So you can see they have enough teeth to work, but enough that it shears here instead of on the actual gear down there. So that'll be a lot bigger of a problem. Okay, so there, this does have to be timed a little bit so that you're not running into the other discs so on here there is a timing mark right here on the shear hub and also on the gear itself there's a timing mark let's see if we can get it to focus that's what it looks like it's a little triangle so this mark and that mark the triangle need to line up it's the only thinking part of this whole project so you got that mark the triangle on there and that mark right there line up go right in the same gear. 
and she'll sit right down in there. There it is. So that mark and that mark line up. And my name is Mark too. Ha ha. So we got the shear hub on. Now we just set this washer on, make sure everything's cleaned up so everything goes tight. And it's all the teeth line up on that one as well. Sit right down and you get the new bolt that they sent with you. This one right here, it's got the new Loctite on it from Deer. Special $70 Loctite. And we'll tighten her down with the impact and put the turtle back on. Good and tight so it doesn't come off. So tight that it makes it hard to come off next time when I break it. And then we'll throw the turtle on. So it's lined up with, not with the ones next to it, but with the one further, the every other one. So we'll see if I can get a little bit of a far away shot here. So then everything should clear each other as they spin, or they will clear each other. If they don't, you got a problem. Usually it's the timing mark in there. So then we'll put those four bolts back on the turtle right here, and we'll be ready to mow some hay again until I hit another rock. Notice how nothing hit. That's ideal. We'll run them one more time, make sure they're good and tight. Ready to go. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. Thanks a lot.